What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian, and this is my husband, Alec. And we are Meet the Maslins. Welcome back to another video. Yes, and we're back on the couch. Yes, we are back on the couch, but today we are not talking about anything serious. <laughs> today is really meant to be a nice, light-hearted video. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, are we, what are we doing? I mean, I'm surprised we haven't done this um, earlier, but in case y'all didn't know, I... I mean, we're both of Jamaican heritage, but I was born and raised, lived 30 years in Jamaica. Um, and we originally were doing a long distance relationship where mm -hmm. it is that he was visiting me there. Um, so today, I thought it would be really fun to, after the three plus years now, mm -hmm. going on four mm -hmm. years of being together, to see if Brian has really learnt any of our Jamaican language, which we call Patois. Mm. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to do fine. You think you're going to do fine? I mean, it's not like this, it was foreign to me. Mm -hmm. you know, my dad is Jamaican, so he spoke Patois. Even to this day, his English is You said so fancy, Patois. What are you supposed to say? <laughs> Patois. Pat Patois? No, 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 not Patois. 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 Yes, exactly. Okay. Thank you. See? All right. So that's what we are going to be scoring and judging him on today is not just being able to get the word but get the sound as well. Okay, maybe I might be a little <laughs> But we thought that this would be really fun because one of the videos where it is that I went to Jamaica alone, I think it was. Everybody said that they could hear your accent. We saw yeah. a consistent comment going through the video saying that the minute I like touch down in Jamaica, mm -hmm. it's like a whole Jamaican come out of him. Many people couldn't understand me in the video. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's see if we can teach you guys something in the process as well. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, before we jump into that, tell me what the experience was like. Like when we just started dating, how was it for you adjusting to not just hearing me speak Pato, but probably even all the people around? Um, when we were together, it was a different thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they, you were, I, don't even, I wouldn't even call it twanging, uh -huh. but you definitely were a lot more proper. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you spoke standard English. Yes, I would speak Jamaican standard English yes. around him. And then <laughs> when you get with your friends, uh -huh. it was like, okay. Then at a real raw chat, yeah. to come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't keep up because they're not all. Uh, so another thing is different parts of Jamaica speak different patois. Yeah. So, so we have different, we have variations of the dialect right. depending on where it is that you come from. And then one of the friends is from Barbados. <laughs> so it's like, it's so many different uh, accents. Mm -hmm. So it was and a lot it's to- mixed in. Yeah, it was a lot to, to understand together. Mm -hmm. And then you add alcohol to it. Oh, oh my gosh. And then I feel like anybody that speaks dialects in general, so mm. even like Spanish people, mm. um, Haitian people, they speak really fast. Yeah. So that probably doesn't help either. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But you were fine with me though. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. And then I think over time as well, I think you've adjusted for the most part. Mm -hmm. We were watching a video of some Jamaican YouTubers the other day, and there are certain things that he wasn't picking up yeah. there. So I was just like, oh, okay. So. Clearly, there are some things that I'm not yeah. saying around you. It's phrases. It's, mm -hmm. it's more phrases than it is. Because I understood what they said. Mm -hmm. I just didn't understand what it meant. Mm, okay. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, well, for me now, because I've been up here for the better part of two years. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when I just came up, just like with him, I was just speaking Jamaican standard English for the most part because I cannot speak in an American accent. If I do, it comes out like very valley white girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want you to though. Yeah, and I mean, I really don't want to as well. It's mm -hmm. just that it's a little annoying when you come up here and you're saying very simple things and you have to repeat yourself several times and they literally, no matter how hard you try, they're not gonna understand unless you put the little bit of an American accent. You remember when we went to um, that, what was it? It wasn't ballet, it was like an orchestra show at Philip Center. Mm -hmm. And I asked the guy, can I have a bottle of water? So it was, it sounded similar to that, but, and you you, you guys get on Americans and their English. Uh -huh. It's not 
bottle of water. I didn't water. say bottle. Yes, you did. No, I said bottle. I don't even okay. say bottle. You, when, you, when you say it fast, that's uh-huh. what it comes out, comes out as. Okay. And then you say water uh-huh. instead of water. Yeah, <laughs> water. <laughs> it's not it, like, it's like, even on the bottles in Jamaica, it's W A T A. Oh, you can ask the brand. It. Well, it's like, yeah, but that's also how y'all say it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, that's exactly how we say it. <laughs> <laughs> but there's an E R. There's a T in the middle. We say water. No, you say water. Wa- there's the T. Water. <laughs> that's D. Whatever. Okay. That's D. All right. But yeah, so, I understood. I, I understood you, obviously, but I can understand why. Yeah, he got the bottle part, though. And then it was, I said water three times. And then I eventually went water. <laughs> He's like, oh. like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyways, we're going to jump into this now because we're going to do this in three rounds. So the first round, I am going to say the English word and Brian is going to attempt to give us the word in Pato. Yeah, that's first round. Mm. Second round, I'm going to be doing reverse. So I'm going to give the Pato a word or phrase and then Brian is going to translate it into English. Yeah? Okay. Okay. And then the third and final round, Brian is going to read the Pato expression and then I will translate it into English. Okay. Yeah, so let's see how many of them you can get it right. Mm-hmm. Are you confident? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Well, let's see, let's oh, see. Gosh. So, ready, set, go. Round one. Mm-hmm. So you are going to be giving me the Patwa expression. And the first one is girl. Gal? Hmm? You didn't hear me? Mm-hmm. Say it again. Gal? Gal? G-A-L? No. Close. G-Y-A-L? Mm-hmm. Gal? Mm-hmm. There you go. That's what I said. <laughs> no, you said gal. Oh, okay. Shit. It's friend. gal. Gal. Okay. Gal. Anyways, you, you're not supposed to call any woman a gal, though. <laughs> I mean, that's like to your friend. Like mm-hmm. You, yeah. And say, hey, gal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, see? All right. Next one. Boy. Boy? Okay, yeah, you got that. B W O I. Well, it can be like that or A I. So B W A I. Boy. Oh. It depends on like you know how raw you want to get. It can be boy or it can be boy. Okay. Okay. You ain't that. <laughs> Child. Pick me. Yeah. We don't say you know that one. Yeah. That one is like easy, easy for you. Um, film. What? Film. Film. Uh-huh. Picture. <laughs> You're giving me the patwa for film. I don't. I don't know. Flim. Flim. <laughs> <laughs> what? Flim. Yeah, flim. That's like when you coughing up. Flim, no, that's like... flim. Okay. So, what was that flim? <laughs> okay. <laughs> flim. I would have never got that. Mm-hmm. Shrimp. Um. I know the, the country black way to say it, but I don't know. What, what's the country black way? Uh, either scrimp or swim. Because my aunt did, like they. Mm, okay, well, or is it similar? So swims. Swims. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Swims. Mm. Okay. Um, let's see if you remember this one. Because this one, from, to me, I, I couldn't tell you how we arrive at it. But pomegranate. Pomegranate? Yes! <laughs> you remember? <laughs> <laughs> panganat. Mm. I don't know how we get panganat from pomegranate, mm-hmm. but it is what it is. <laughs> wow. Newspaper. Come on. Yeah, so this one is one of those where it's it's not like it's a translation of the word. Mm-hmm. So this is more of a reference to something in Jamaica, which is why I figure you may not get it. So gleaner. Okay. Either gleaner or gleaner paper. And mm. Gleena is like our national newspaper. Mm-hmm. So once you hear a newspaper, people just say Gleena or Gleena paper. Um, last one for this round, diapers. Pampers? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> is it it's the brand that you guys... Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when people would have diapers, whether it gets shipped down from mm-hmm. the US or anything like that, it would always be the brand Pampers. Mm-hmm. So it was just adopted as a name for the actual product. Yeah, okay. okay. So, not too bad. I think you did like 
You did a, I would say you did like five and a half, six out of eight. It was only like eight, so. It was eight. Uh -huh. Which ones did I get wrong? You get, um, <laughs> Flim. Yeah, I wouldn't get that one. Newspaper. Mm -hmm. And then everything else. You, you, you either get a half off or a quarter off of like the, sh the swims. I okay. gave you points for that. Okay. And then for the diaper, you got that one correct. So it's just a half off of swims. Okay. You did pretty good. Right. You did pretty good. So time for round two. Mm -hmm. Round two, I'm going to be giving you either a word or a phrase in Pato, and you are going to be giving me the English equivalent. Okay. Okay? This one is also eight. Okay. All right. First word, Niam. E. Okay, easy. Yes. Forward. The word is forward, not easy. <laughs> forward. Forward? Hmm? Forward? Mm hmm So that's close, but we would use it in place of come. Hmm? So like, for, if I say forward, come. Oh. Mm hmm Come. Let's go. Why don't you just use the word come? That's just how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. You're too fast. Uh, like too busy, too nosy, or like yeah. in the mess. Too nosy. Yeah. Yeah. So you're either too inquisitive or you're too nosy. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever heard me say you're too fast, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that's what I'm referring to. All right. Um, it bad. It bad. Mm -hmm. So think of something that we say quite often to each other or run in jokes. Like a lot. Yeah. And then use it bad now. Use that as context. Good? Like it's good. It's so good. Yes. Okay. So when you say it bad, it means it's so good. <laughs> okay. It's the opposite of what you uh -huh. said. So like if when you cook goat, it bad. Okay. That means it was very, very good. Okay. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, we're there. We're here. Mm -mm. We're there. Mm -mm. What city? We're there. I thought that was like we're there. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a literal translation, but that's a phrase to mean we're together or we're in a relationship. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> I've never heard that one. Uh -huh. With the, they with the. They with the? Uh -huh. They with the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, fling. Fling? Uh -huh. Throw? Yes. Okay. Okay, you got that. Now I'm going to give you two that are a little harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny already? The man gave a man bun. Uh, he gave the woman burn. Bun is burn, right? No, bun like <laughs> so again with the with the expressions. It's not necessary. Yes. So the man get the woman bun. He cheated on the woman. What happened? What's what's what, what's happening up there? Tell me, tell me what's going on for you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm trying to figure out what it bun b u n. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we'll say bun and cheese. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. In the, for the same thing? Meaning, yeah, you get extra. Oh. Yeah, so when you get bun and cheese, you get extra. So you cheated with a friend. With a whole heap of people. Oh, damn. Spared nobody. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, this is very mobile of me to say. Um, where you in the go? Uh huh. <laughs> where you in the go? Yeah, where you in the go? So where you when they go? Uh, where do you want to go? Where were you going? Where were you going? <laughs> what? So in Jamaica, Montego Bay and Saint Elizabeth mm -hmm. um, are known, or let me say Saint James, because that's a parish. Saint James and Saint Elizabeth are two other parishes that are known for speaking the worst. I am from Saint James. So, expressions like when, <laughs> like when, when I say where you when they go, other parishes don't use when. Okay. Yeah. So we add other things in there and then apparently we said they. 
more than the average person. So we use the several times in one sentence. So what does Wayne mean? When or or it just doesn't really have a meaning. I mean, to just... be honest, it, it feels like it's an extra word that was placed in there. Mm-hmm. But if you breaking down the entire sentence, where you win, they got it would be where were. So, <laughs> so the win is like were okay. in the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to talk like this? Um, I mean, to be honest, I didn't think that I spoke like that mm-hmm. until I went to university, and of course, now I'm going to school with people from different parishes and somebody said you know you can tell you come from Mobe and I'm like me can I speak proper <laughs> so I, I didn't get when they said that mm-hmm. like I was like I, I don't see why they would say that mm-hmm. and then I was talking to Xavier one day and I caught myself saying something just like this and I was just like wow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really do come from Mobe you really do speak bad so yeah, I think all of us are really guilty of it. We just don't necessarily know in the moment. It's normal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's just second nature for us. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Where you win they go. Where you win they go. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now time for the final round. Because you did pretty good in these first two. So now the final round is going to be testing your ability to be able to pronounce words in what? Patois. No, not patois. Pat, 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 patois. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> so, I actually have a book here that... When was this I gave this to you? Was this your first time coming to Jamaica? Mm-hmm. Okay, so when he just came to Jamaica to visit for the first time, I had, gifts. Yeah, I had given him a bag with like a bunch of different stuff. So, it had traditional Jamaican snacks. Um, and then like t-shirt hats and i also got him this which is like a little book it has a dictionary of patwa in the back but then it actually explains and breaks down the language how it originated where it came from and yeah just to actually learn how to speak patwa and he actually did go through most of this book which i was surprised about like he was telling me facts that i was like I don't know why we say what we say, we just know that's what we say. <laughs> and just so you guys know, like our dialect is broke. It's an amalgamation of so many languages um, that would have come from the time when we were colonized by different countries. Um, so it's a combination of English, the different African dialects as well, Portuguese, French Spanish, it. French. Yeah, because the word patois, how you pronounce it, patois is actually French. Patois. Yeah, Patois. We so so we say like P A T W A, but it's actually spelled P A T O I S. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're saying it the correct way, it's just not how we say it. Okay. So Brian is now gonna go through phrases in Patois. So I have to read the Patois version of this. Yeah, you are gonna read the Patois. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna sound so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Take two. Is it M or I'm? Read it how, how you think it is. Where am they? Huh? Where am they? Uh-huh. Where is he? Okay. Uh-huh. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, them dead party dresser. <laughs> Say it again. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> They're on the dresser. Yes. Uh-huh. What did I say wrong? Nothing. You know, nothing. <laughs> I just tried to psych you out. <laughs> um. Oh God. Me de pan his? <laughs> me de pan his? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're trying to move quickly. I'm in haste. Uh-huh, so haste. Okay. Uh-huh, so trying to move quickly, like you're in a rush, you're in a hurry. Uh, no money, no day. No money, no day? Mm-hmm. It sounds like a, a, a demi scene, but <laughs> no, I don't have any money or no money is here. How would you say it? 
no money in my daddy. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I would have said daddy. <laughs> so maybe that is the, the monster, the, the mother in me. Why, why daddy? I mean, I know daddy just... just means there. <laughs> so why would you say there twice? <laughs> I don't say it's a more thing. We use that more than the average person. So is that what you would say with so where I'm dead? Would you say where I'm dead? Is? Oh no, in that case we'd just be like, where where is he? Because it's not so when he say dead, no money is there. So mm-hmm. there would say dead. Okay. But with the first one, it's not there that it's replacing. Mm. Where him that you're asking where is he? Yeah, so it's I get it. It's confusing. You don't have to look at me like that. But no, because it, it's here. Uh-huh. Him no dede? Yeah, he's not there. Yeah. Uh-huh. So dede is in place of there. So it's, 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 see? Our yeah. language has some structure. <laughs> Somebody there? Yeah? yeah? Somebody is here? Uh-huh. Somebody there? Some, say it again. Smarty. Uh-huh. Smarty. Uh-huh. There. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Some, some, oh, somebody's there. It's also a question. Yeah. Either that or you can say that somebody is here. It can be a statement too. Smarty. Some, there. So it says somebody is here. Do you... He, and then here. So it's like somebody there. there, there yeah? Like, somebody there, there. like is somebody there? Yeah? <laughs> no? <laughs> this is a lie. <laughs> this is a lie. Okay, but you're doing good though. I'm doing horrible. You are not. You really could be much worse. Trust me. <laughs> um. Uh. I'm really trick, quick, man. Cause you know it. Sitting there for yam, for for yam. <laughs> Sitting there for yam. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. it's something here to eat. There is something here to eat. Yeah. See? I don't understand that. <laughs> sitting. So, sitting is something, and then Dea Finyam is here to eat. Jesus. Okay. I remember Dea is here. Yeah, with yeah, that part. So but Dea, I, the sitting part threw me off. Yeah, so the sitting is, is, is something. Is that common or is that just for that phrase? No. So, something can be. So, we use something. Or if you're getting really pato, sitting or sinting, it can be sinting as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so, um, okay. But I think you did well. I think you did well. Thank you. How do you feel? Bad. You feel hot? <laughs> a little bit. I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> no, I, I mean, if. If you ever looked at any of the other challenges that are going around social media, mm-hmm. I feel like you actually did a really, really good job. Okay. Thank yeah, you. so. Thank you. Not bad for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. To actually be practicing patois? Uh-huh. Patois. Patois. Quick, yeah. So it's not, don't, don't, don't draw it out. You, you make the first part of the word short and then you draw out the second half. You're just doing it as patois. 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 Pat wa pat wa not wa 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 just go wa wa yes pat wa yes just pat wa thank you <laughs> who would think that those are all the things that you got the hardest thing for you to say is pat wa <laughs> but I'm saying it you you are <laughs> <laughs> pat wa yeah, we'll work on it we'll I work on it fine. Anyhow, guys, um, we hope you had fun, mm. that you probably learned a little something. I know that it is a little confusing, just a tiny bit. <laughs> just a tiny bit confusing. But yeah, I hope that above all, you guys had fun just as much as we have yeah. doing this. Again, like I'm surprised we took this long to, to do actually it. do this. Yeah. yeah, but I had fun. Did you have fun? I did, I had a good time. I hope you guys had fun too. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share the video. Anybody that just wants a lighthearted laugh. Mm. And then please comment down below. Let us know if you learned anything, how many of these things you actually got correct. Mm. And if you haven't already, do what? Subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye. (laughs) This is crazy. Oh, wow. Sitting something. Yes. Slava slava.
that nobody not use that anymore. So like plaka plaka is if something loose and um, <laughs> have, have odd texture. Flabba flabba is like somebody like referring to fat, mm -hmm. <laughs> loose fat. And what's this one? So slabba slabba. Slabber, okay, slabber, so see the same thing. So we just we'd say flabba flabba now, not slabba slabba. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. <laughs> Kiss my neck. It's just an expression like. Kiss my neck. Is, is it, let me see what expression you, you use that in place so. of. Because people say kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that one is just an expression though, like you can't believe it. Yes, it's that's what exclamation it said? of surprise. Oh, yeah, so yeah, you can't believe it. That's all it is. Mm. Okay, that's or you can say my foot back. My foot back? Mm -hmm. Backside, blood clot. No, oh, okay. 